everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page. Today I'm going to be doing the New Year's book tag or the New Year's resolution tag. I've heard it called two different things. So let's get started. And if you see me looking down, my questions are in this notebook. So question number one. How many, ugh, how many books are you planning to read this year? I put it around 45 just because I have no idea how many I read last year. Last year I kind of went through a massive reading slump. Also a massive thing where I just wasn't like tracking anything. So I just did something so that's about one a week. A little bit less if I want to take a break or whatever. But really it's just reading as many as I can. I don't really care about the number. If I don't reach it then if I don't, if I go over, then great. It's, it's not that big of a deal to me. But it's more just reading books that I enjoy that is that is more my goal this year I've last year and even like the be in this January I've read a lot of books that are just like they're okay I like them but I don't like I'm not like involved I'm not emotional about them and I would I want to try to find more books that I feel that way about again because I I miss that question number two is name five books you didn't get to in 2017 that you want to pro prioritize in 2018. So the first book is Killing Moon by N.K. Jemisin. It picked hers up a while ago. I've just heard awesome things. I know one of her series, I think it's called The Fifth Season, might be being made into a TV series. And I've heard that she has a lot of diversity in her books and it's a fantasy series, which is my genre. So I just, I want to get back into it. They sound really good and I just haven't really picked it up yet. The second one is The Steel Remains by Richard K. Morgan. I did like a TBR rediscovered thing a couple of months ago where I talked about how I wanted to go back into books I had bought in a year, a year ago or more um, that I want to try to get reinterested in and, and try to read them and I was going to do one a month and that didn't happen. <laughs> I didn't even get through the first one. Um, so I would at least like to finish it and maybe instead of doing that thing where I go back and look at books that are over a year old on my TBR. Every month I do that every couple months or just randomly as I'm feeling the need to just because I do want to get caught up on my backlist as some people call it or my really old TB um, books that I really wanted to read. Kind of get reinterested in them like rediscover them as I said on that movie or said in that video. The third book I want to get into is Vanilla by Billy Merrill. I did try reading that maybe in November. Um, Matthew Schrappa did a review down about it and I'll link that down below. Um, and I just, I didn't, wasn't really into it at the time. I just could care less. Um, and I want to maybe try visiting again to see if it was the book itself that made me feel that way or my, like, where I was at that time in my life and how I was mentally. The fourth book I want to give, um, try to get to in 2018 is Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. Um, I don't know much about this book. I just heard it's a queer, a fairy tale you always wanted as a queer person. I think it is middle grade or YA. I think it's one of the two. I heard about it from Adriana from Perpetual Pages. They love the book and their love of it made me really excited about it so I went out and bought it and hadn't picked it up yet so that's kind of my goal. And then the last book I want to try to prior toward the la la the last book I want to well not the last book uh, the fifth book I want to prior prioritize in 2018 is The Prince of Dreams by Kurt Benjamin. I read this series back in high school. It's the Seven Brothers series. This is the second book in the series and I just remember absolutely loving it. It had been a really long time since I read it and I wanted to get back into them again. So I read the first one last year and then started the second one and then just kind of put it down and got distracted by something else. That happened a lot last year. So the third question is what genre do you want to read more of? I already read a lot of fantasy so I don't necessarily want to say I want to read more of that, but I do, but I want to read more facets of fantasy, if that makes sense. Like, I want to read more diverse fantasy, for sure, fantasy that's not written by white men or even white women that focus around different cultures, and even translated fantasy, 
just to see how like their fantasy differs from our fantasy here in the U.S. So that's kind of an, one of them. And then another one is um, collections or short story collections that are done by the same author. I've just seen a lot popping up and they sound really interesting. They seem like a lot of fun and they seem a little bit easier because you can just kind of read one and it's a bit shorter so you don't have to like commit a really long time. So like if I'm at work and I'm on break, like at maybe I can get through one or half of one instead of getting like sucked into the story and then being at a crucial part and then have to get off break. Question four is name three non-book related goals I have in 2018. This isn't book related, but it's booktube related. So I hope it counts, but it's just upload more consistently. I, I'm really bad at it that r right now. I just kind of upload whenever. Sometimes I go really long. And then, but when I want to, since I want to upload consistently, that means I also have to film more consistently and edit more consistently, kind of be a bit up on my game. And I kind of want to get more into a routine of doing those things. Another goal for myself I have is I want to eat healthier just because... Uh, last year was a pretty rough year for me, and I was not really all that healthy, and so um, it's pretty broad. So I just want to meal prep at least one meal a week, where it's just I make everything at w on one day, and then I just set it aside for later, and I just can grab it and go, which really helps because I do work two jobs, so it makes it easier if I don't have to come home from work. And... Like, nobody wants to do anything when they come home from work, so I don't have to cook my meal or anything. I can just kind of reheat it because it's already made, and this way I'll get be able to use fresher produce and try different foods that way. And the third goal I have for myself is I want to start exercising again. Um, like I said, last year was really rough. I didn't do much of anything healthy last year, um, but because that's also a broad one. I've started myself off at a really low goal. I want to exercise at least 15 minutes three days a week. It doesn't sound like a lot, and it really isn't, but at least if I can start doing that consistently, I can start kind of upping the minutes or how often I do it. Just because if I don't want to like jump in and be like, I have to exercise an hour and a half every three days, or like every other day, like it's just like I don't want to intimidate myself into not doing it. Question five is what book have you had forever that you still need to read? As mentioned earlier, I have a lot of these. Um, because I tried doing a TBR Rediscovered thing. I actually have a bookshelf full of books I've bought in forever ago. But one that I really need to read, kind of, it's it's a weird situation, is um, it's called the Dragon Crown, Dragon Crown Trilogies? Trilogy? I think that's what it is. By Michael A. Stackpole. Um, I, I read the series way back in high school, but at the time, I was only interested in, like, two characters, so I would skip through and only read their sections, which is really bad. Because <laughs> it is it is an epic fantasy, so it's, like, its own world. They deal with, at least from what I remember, it deals with a lot of stuff. And so I missed out. Like, I couldn't even end up finishing the third book in the trilogy because I had no idea what was going on. So there is a prequel, so I've, I reread the prequel last year, and I just kind of need to get back into reading them and make sure I don't skip to the parts that I just want to read. I did that a lot when I was a kid, or in high school. I was, I was a bad reader. Number six is one word that you were hoping 2018 will be. The word I chose was full, um, just because I want it to be really full of moments and opportunities and just saying yes, I guess, to things instead of like sitting in my room and not doing anything ever, um, trying to be a bit more extroverted, which doesn't sound fun, but just trying to do more things. I haven't really gone on a lot of trips and I, I always do, I always want to do trips and like travel more. And so that's kind of just like, I'm, I'm committed this year to starting doing that. Like I can't go on many cause I don't make a lot of money, but like at least maybe go on smaller trips and try other things and just have more moments, I guess. Number seven, which isn't a question, is just tag a friend. So I am tagging, well, they're they're not really a friend, but I hope they will be, come one, it'll be nice. Um, I am tagging Alex's fiction addiction. I've only seen a few of their videos. I don't think they've done this video yet. Maybe they have, um, or maybe they've already been tagged. But I really like what they have to say so far. I really love their videos. 
So, yeah. Well, until the next video, ta-ta for now.